Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was the Pretty night. quiet. Very quiet. Was this Tuesday night? Yes. Beautiful night. Yes. We never we never chatted. No, no. What's your name? Uh Jerry. Jerry. Jerry what's, Hastings. What's my name? Charles LeBlanc. Oh, okay. So no problem. I'm 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 known for all the wrong reason. Okay. Uh, just kidding. Get rid of that goddamn cigarette. You're gonna die. Right. Just kidding. Just kidding. Go ahead. I'm a reformed smoker. Smoker. We're the worst kind. You homeless? Yes. I see you. A lot of people would see you bend over that cart. Are you high? What? You you hurt yourself? What's what's going on? Mm, I got I was hit by a car. On October 19th, uh, on the corner of uh, Westmoreland and Queen. When? The last evening. year? Uh, no, this year, October 19th. Uh, last year, it'll yeah, be last, last year. year. Okay, yeah. no, no problem. Uh, yeah. I was going through the crosswalk, and I still had time on the crosswalk. Let's be comfortable. Let's put the camera right here. There we go. And the, uh, the young fellow driving the minivan. He turned in, and I saw the headlights, and I knew I got hit, and it's funny because when I got hit, I don't know, but I, I, I he must have bumped me and like knocked me forward, then ran my leg over. So, uh, but did he, you... he stopped and uh, he got me out of the road. Like he he uh, pulled my arm up. He was drag trying to drag me across the street to the other side. What time just happened? It was around oh, 150, 10 to 2 in the morning, early morning. Were you sober? Were you high? What? Oh yeah, no, I was uh, I was sober. Sorry. Uh, I had left the car in the Bank of Montreal with some stuff on it. How long have you been homeless? It's going on about three years now. Where are you from? Oromocto. Oh, you're from Oromocto? Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. So why are we, what happened? Why are we homeless? Well, I worked for my father for a few years. Uh, uh, he uh, owns a brokerage where he, he buys and sells uh, frozen food and uh, I was helping them with that. Uh, I was doing uh, a lot of the paperwork. Oh yeah. Uh, something I don't know what precisely, but uh, you're a redhead, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So you're thick-headed, right? Yeah. You're worse than me. I'm half Scottish, so you know, the Scottish and the redhead. They sort of uh, the same gene. Yes. I'm, I'm being sarcastic here. So, do uh, you turn to drugs or? Uh, yeah, there, that's an issue. Now, were you forced on Ritalin or prescription uh, drugs that yeah. you went to higher drugs or? Uh, well, I started uh, using uh, cocaine years uh, years ago. Uh, Cocaine. Yeah. I tried cocaine once. I loved it so much. It gave me a nice body stone. I was so I loved it so much. I never touched it again. I liked it, and uh, it became a real problem. Where you get the money? At the time, I was working. I was working for my uncle uh, Jerry Mulder in Oromocto at his his uh, his uh, his uh, meat packing facility there in Oromocto. Uh, I've worked there for a lot of years. And, uh, uh, yeah, I always worked, but, uh, I had a vehicle then, too, and I always found I could make money, you know, just, uh, helping people out, like, giving them drives or whatever, or, you know, I could always, uh, be where I needed to be and, uh, make something happen to get what I needed, and, uh. Didn't work out that way. Not in the long run. Uh, I don't use cocaine anymore. I really don't. I I'm pretty clear of that. How about like crystal meth? 
Uh, I do like crystal meth though, yeah. It's cheaper. Mm, yeah, I find it is. Yeah. I find it is though. You high in crystal meth now? Uh, not so much, no. Not so much? No. Were, uh, you, were you in Ten City? No. You weren't there, how come? No, I, I know people, quite a few people who live there. Uh, I just found it strange that they would uh, want us all conglomerated in one area and they were really trying to push us uh, to all be there and uh, I didn't like being corralled like that and uh, there's always a reason for everything and uh, I, the way I look at it is, is I'm a citizen and uh, I don't need someone to tell me where to sleep or where not to sleep and uh, you know I'll make something else work and uh, I just got a bad vibe too from some, you know, maybe some of the other people that live there. Like I'm not pointing fingers or anything like that, but uh, I don't know. Like the, there had to be a reason, like why they would, you know. I'm sure they'd want to, but I think they're studying. I think they're doing a study. I really do. The government studied the people intensity. Yes, we're studying. Uh, a good study, a good start would have been to give them a portable washroom. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, why didn't they do that? Because maybe, were they allowed to be there in the first place? Or? Yeah, they didn't want to make you feel too comfortable. They're we have a mayor that's an idiot, that's why. So, where are you going to sleep tonight? I know that's a secret, right? Uh, I'll, I'll just, uh, a lot of times if, uh, the bank machines or how's the cop treating you uh, the, you know what they, they don't treat me too bad really uh, there's been some things that sort of uh, I don't know sometimes I wonder if someone has, has used my name like I've been saying for quite a while that someone has picture ID with my name with my name on it like and you, they take your somebody else it's not so much they think I'm somebody else, but that somebody else thinks it's you. Exactly. Yeah, and uh, yeah. I don't know. I think they've they've uh, screwed me on my taxes and stuff like that. How many homeless people is there you see on the street? Oh, there's quite a few. Like, it's when you say homeless, it's uh, it's it's uh, not always uh. But people say to me, do you sleep, at, uh, are you sleeping it outdoors or indoors? And, well, I sleep indoors, but it's like in bank machines. Like, I don't sleep outside. So you got hit by a car. Yeah. And there you are, homeless. Right. And, of course, nobody's going to step forward to help you. Mm. A lawyer's not going to step forward because you got no money. That's right. Uh, and you're screwed for life because... There's no, there's no justice. Well, that's something else I wonder. I wonder if uh, people are, yeah, I don't know, maybe I'm just being suspicious, but I sometimes wonder if uh, someone in my family or something is like, maybe filed for something like a, something like that. Mm. And, when was the last time you slept in a bed? Mm, when I was in the hospital. My they took God. Me, they yeah. took me back in the hospital there because my leg keeps swelling and it had cellulitis in it and uh, the doctor doesn't feel the one because it had two fractures and one of the fractures. How long were you in bed for? What's that? How long were you in the hospital for? About a week but they were letting me go like whenever I wanted to. Like, uh, I, they'd let me leave because, uh, I it didn't seem, well, I didn't understand why they put me in the hospital anyways because the treatment they were giving me was an IV antibiotic, right? Mm -hmm. And the, the antibiotic, it only took half an hour to do, right? Mm -hmm. And they could have did that by outpatient. And because I had, uh, back in 2000 and, Five, 
I had cellulitis in this ankle and that's exactly what they did. They would get me to come to the hospital and uh, they would do my IV antibiotic and then I would leave. But uh, this time uh, they admitted me, right? And they were letting me come and go, right? And I, I felt real strange that they, they were just granting me this kind of leeway. Uh, You're lucky compared to last year. You know last year it was cold and windy. You're not lucky, but uh, better temperature this year, huh? Yes. Last year was windy. Do you, do you remember that? Yes, I do. What message do you have to the kids that want to do crystal meth or any drugs? Well, boys, uh, it's just going to change everything for you, and it probably won't be for the good. You know, uh, I, I don't think the it, it's. I've got I, I've got some other issues going on in my life that we all do, and uh, exa exactly. I have ADHD. Look at me. I can't shut up when when you're talking. No, uh, it's uh. You got a family. Try to keep it, try to stay inside because there's no fun to be on the street. Yes, yeah. Or do you really like to be independent, like a redhead, independent yeah, on the street? Yeah, I, I, I kind of like my independence and uh, it's kind of difficult because I don't uh, particularly like being on assistance and... Uh, you on welfare? You collect yeah. a check? Yes. So you go at the health center? Get yes. It? And uh, like I appreciate them letting me use the shower. Yeah, you can shower there. Uh, Jerry, what's your full name? I see the battery is gonna die. Maybe just yeah. My get it. my my full name is William Gerald Hastings, and okay. that's something I have a problem with. Because anytime I go to the hospital or the police, they'll only put William on my stuff, and my name isn't William Hastings. It's William Gerald Hastings, and I keep saying that because. All my ID says William Gerald Hastings, and I don't like it when they just put William Hastings there. Or because, Jerry. Yeah, because I've. I'd like to tell you more, like, because I've had a lot of problems with uh, things like banks and stuff in the in the last few years, and. Uh, I'll keep on talking. We'll talk to the battery guys. No problem. Well, it's it's more so. I'd, I'd like to articulate it better. But I'd be willing to sit down or do uh, uh, give you a better uh, view of things. How about rehab? Did you try that? Yes, I did. Didn't work? Uh, I wouldn't say it didn't work. Uh, it just uh, wasn't really uh, what I wanted, I guess. Uh, I found the the rehab, it, you know, there was uh, some really good points about it. I enjoyed the people I met. Uh, I went to a rehab up in Toronto called Bellwood. Mm -hmm. And I was there for basically 90 days. And uh, I met a lot of really interesting people. How about a rooming house? I lived at 72 Regent Street. Uh, for almost a year. What uh, happened? I got kicked out. Uh, a pair, uh, some of the people that I... Well, I was trying to be nice and I would let some people come to my place, like, you know, just to come in to get off the street kind of thing. Oh, yeah. And, uh... uh I didn't know it, but a couple of them had issues with with uh, the superintendent, like they lived there before themselves. Oh yeah, so they blame you. Well, yeah, for, yeah. Any family member come and see you once in a while? Oh yeah. What, really? Yeah, I see my dad uh, huh? fairly often. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, but uh, 
yeah, there's been, things are a little bit strange, like, uh, I don't, uh, I, I don't feel like he's telling, like, telling me everything that, uh, like, there's, uh, just some things that have gone on that, uh, How old are you, Jerry? Uh, 44. 44? Yeah. You go to the soup kitchen three times a day, or? No, I, I don't go to the soup kitchen very often. No, you don't like the crowds? Yeah, that's one reason, and, uh, uh, if, you know, I appreciate what they do there, and, uh, but I, I'm usually, uh, you know, look after myself, I guess, and, uh... You go at Brunswick Church during the day? Uh, what do you mean? Like Brunswick Church, the hours, they have the, the building beside the Brunswick Church to keep warm. Oh, okay, yeah, I've, yeah, I've been, I've been there once this year. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, and I, I, I like what they do, you know, it's nice that they, uh, offer us that, and, uh... For a redhead, looks like you have a good heart. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not out to make problems for anybody, like I don't want to... I'm more the troublemaker than you are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not out to, uh, you know, uh, cause any problems for anybody. I don't want to uh, be, a, you know, any more of a nuisance than I already am. No, you're not a nuisance, you're one of the quiet types. We never talked, we've seen each other a lot, but we never chatted. No. Somebody suggested that I talk to you. Yeah, I could. I have some things that I could uh, elaborate on, like uh, seventeen minutes. You, you happy with with this video? Uh, I get so far. I think I could do a better one. Like I could more. Uh, we'll do part two. Okay, I'd like that. Sounds good. No, no, we'll do part two. Okay. I'm we'll sorry. do part two when you're in better shape. All I can say is good luck. Okay, thank you, Charles. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. Thank you later. And yeah, yeah, I will talk to you again.